<clears throat> is there a pimp or something, or, or do we just pick? They're day laborers, Nina, not hustlers. Saying yes, get me the gig. He could work. Anything's possible. Or not. Work how? Marriage. I want to hire you to be my husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give you $100,000 a year. You mess with me, right? Can I ask why? You cannot. Jesus. How long? Till death do us part. It's a part-time job. You just need to be on call to keep up appearances. You can have your own life. I don't have all day, Sniffy. There is a wedding going on in 48 hours, so do you want to get married or not? I do. <laughs> I do! <laughs> Woo -hoo! I'm rich! <laughs> Sorry, boys. You know how it is. <laughs> I'll catch you later. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. It's only forever. First one who finds her gets a Porsche. Hmm. All right. What now? You haven't done anything wrong. Well, these days they don't just pinch the workers on the corner; they pinch anyone who hires them. What? Yeah. This is not the way I pictured my wedding day starting out. Oh, I sure can't get used to this. But you're gonna get used to jail if you don't point me in the right direction. Hang a Louie right up ahead. That means left. And then hang a right, we'll hide out in the old train yard. <laughs> woo -hoo! This is fun! Okay, I'm driving. No, we wait. She's right. We're not here. We hide out at my place till the heat's off. Besides, I gotta tell my girlfriend I'm getting married. A room full of the best private dicks, and yet it still takes a woman's touch. You found her? West Texas State Police just rang. One of our company limos was pulled over by the state border. Description fits your little girl, but the brat fled the scene. What is she doing in Texas? The GPS system. Hey, we can... Can the GPS be used to track her? Are you not talking to your firstborn? The one who chose Harvard as a safety school. <laughs> the GPS company is just waiting for the satellite to get in proper orbit. Precise location within the hour. You... Take the jet to West Texas and wait for my call. Go! Rich, when can I kick 
count on them weenies. Rex! Last time you fell asleep at the grill, you charred 12 acres of national forest. Trees grow back. Mother Nature's a resilient little bitch. We won! It's Extreme Makeover Home Edition! I told you I wrote a good letter! I prefer Caucasian Americans. Oh, Papa, look at your skin tone. Yeah, mowing laws all day crisps you up. Heck, lady, you're one hung, strung person, ain't you? Don't you get it? I'm adopted. But your name is Jesus. No, no. You see, the hiring folks, they won't pick you if they think you're a citizen because you expect too much pay. That's why I wear this shirt. I get picked all the time. My real name's Bo. Bo? Uh, Bo, the deal is off. No, hey, whoa, whoa, why? You are way too much of a challenge. I need a Latino, not a bow. I, I can be Latino. I can. Check it out. <clears throat> Mirame el piel. You speak Spanish? This is Texas. You gotta speak Spanish or you won't know what the Mexicans are saying behind your back. I got it. All right. I'm Normando. He was born in La Ciudad de Mexico. That's Mexico City, right? Then they brought me up here as a youngin. I can do this. I know I can do it. I can, I can be the best Mexican I never thought I was. I swear it. No, no. Lady, look at me. I am not going back to that corner. It's really tough to make a hundred grand with a weed whacker. You know what I'm saying? You are so lucky that I do not have time to find another husband, Normando. Oh. <laughs> hey, y'all! I finally got a real job! Yeah! I don't know about this. You're putting a lot at risk. All I need to do is turn Jesus the long boy into Prince Normando and tell my father I'm in love. How hard is that? But the wedding is in two days. Don't you think this it's is gonna, gonna be... It's gonna be a lot of work. We need to get my new fiancé completely rebuilt. It's more than just the physical. It's the mental, too. We can't pull this off. Of course I can pull this off. Call Mancha. At Sandia? Let him know that I am bringing the most challenging makeover project ever known. Then call the travel coordinator and have them send the jet here. Go! She's got a good trip by here. I always wanted one of All right, I got one more piss up before we go. No more pit stops. My girlfriend's pull a double. I gotta give her the download before we go wherever we're going. We're going to the airport. How's that for coincidence, Yossity? She works at the airport. I can't wait for you two to meet. And again, maybe not. They can take us at Sandia. Yes. But the jet, it's here in Texas. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. Where did they find me? How could they find me? I'm sure your father spared no expense. Oh, he's using his government contact. He's going to get me disbarred. felt that on the other end. I'm afraid they lost the signal. We need to get Lawn Boy and get to the airport. No, no, no. You could be walking into a trap. No, I just got an idea. Call Jet Rent. Tell him I want one of their birds fueled and ready to go. I'm so proud of you. Finally getting out of the house. With all that money, I expect to be repaid for raising you. What about Nikki? Ma, I'm doing this for Nikki. With the steady work, we can get our own place. What am I? Nude? Dude, I'm your best man. I really need a best man? Every groom needs a best man. Yeah? Best man watches your back. He's your sounding board. Mm. All right. And this one only takes 10%? All right. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah! <laughs> all right! Come on, do it, do it. Uh, yeah, all right! <laughs> Woo! All right, all right, all right. Who the hell is this mess? I'm the best man. Just feel free to pass me around. We don't need a best man. We certainly don't. You do need a driver. Especially the fuzz spots us. Seventh grade, county, boxcar champ. <laughs> oh. All right, uh. fine, fine. Drive us to the airport, but then that's the end of the line. I like you. Hey, hey. I gotta get to Nikki, give her the 411. You ain't told Nikki yet? Nah. Oh, we should be wearing helmets. Sweets. Yeah, I asked her to cut the first day of 10th grade. Been together ever since. This is not the limo wash, is it? Fun, can I try? Let's just uh, wait it out a few minutes. She'll tire. We don't have a few minutes. He has one minute. Relax. Let's just let the kids work things out. Hey. Hey. Hey, look, Nick, we we gotta talk. Okay. Alright, so uh you know what? I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come out and tell you. Okay. There's this thing that happened, you know, and um Time's up! We're leaving! Yep, that's the thing. You ain't taking us out of fight, bitch! Hey, hey, Nick, hey, you can have some more time. I am so, so sorry. I, I don't know how we lost the signal. Sh should I just try to... You're a dead man! <sighs> like, weren't you like that guy in Menudo? This is our big chance. Chance at what? To get out of here! You don't have to work at the plane wash no more. I can get back to pursuing my music career. You see, it's just to keep up appearances for her family, that's all. I, I, I get to have my own life. Hundred grand, huh? A year. That's all you're getting? Hi, I'm Nikki. We met earlier when I jumped on your limo. Bo told me about your little offer. You're gonna have to make it 175. Nick? Plus 10. Oh. I guess I'm gonna have to find someone else. I'm free. No, no, no. Nick, 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 check it out, check it out. Hey, hey. Now, don't spend it all on the slots, all right? I can get back to work. And don't worry, Bo's job is a platonic one. Does the Mama Dia crew know to take off without anyone on board? Just got the orders. Good. Meet at the rendezvous point. Are you really gonna call your father? Gotta start building the illusion. You're with Mama Dia Foods? My mother is Mama Dia. Holy guacamole! I grew up eating your taco in a can. Oh, that, that sounded bad, didn't it? I apologize. No, no. I know what you meant. Didn't Mama Dia pass away? Two years ago. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Me too.
The act of deception requires total concentration. Follow my mark. Hand signals are important. This means tickle me. Uh, tickle you? My father's Achilles heals his daughter's honor, and that's what we attack. All right. It's her. Lola, baby, my angel, are you okay? How could you run off at a time like this? We've all been so worried. Now, where the hell are you? Oh, I'm so sorry, Daddy. It's just, oh, I'm in love. <laughs> what? I don't get it. So quickly, right after I know, I know, Daddy. It's just that, well, I needed to get away. And by total, complete, random chance, I ran into Normando, my first love from Princeton. You remember Normando, don't you, Daddy? <laughs> Uh, sure, I At guess. At college, we broke up because Normando had to go to the University of Barcelona for graduate work. Well, we both had faith that we would meet again, and Daddy... Did we? <laughs> Lola, this better not be some ploy for you to fulfill your trust obligations. <laughs> Daddy, this isn't a ploy. This is love. Daddy, we're gonna go to a spa to freshen up. We'll see you tomorrow in Santa Fe, okay? Put the young man on the phone. He's... he's busy, Daddy. I know he's busy. I can hear his hands. Put him on! Uh... Hey, what up, sir? Hola. Better be in separate rooms when you're with my daughter. Oh, I'll know to you myself! Got it, she's at the airport. The West Texas airport. I think he likes me. Yeah. One sec, girls, one sec. <laughs> Hello? She's at the airport. One more. No, 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 you stay. No, me and Bo have been brothers for a while. Yeah. And me being the older one, he gets his moves from me. Why? Because I got moves worth copying. Yeah, yeah. No. Wait, wait, wait. Showing up with the brother makes this thing all more believable. Believable. A white brother, I may add. We are all brothers, sister. Wait, let's just reverse the story. Instead of Bread's family adopted me, my family adopted Bread. He doesn't do or say a thing. Welcome to the family, Geraldo! <laughs> me familia! <laughs> Take your hand off yeah, me. Yeah, right, okay. Breaking up with Bo for like a year now. Oh yeah? Yeah? I never really meant it. Where are you going? To keep an eye on him. Dude, I don't know. Are you coming or not? We all know that before Mama Dia passed, she adjusted the terms of Lola's trust. Upon turning 25, 48 hours from now, Lola will be beneficiary if and only if she's married. As long as this affidavit is ratified by you, Mr. Dia. Remember, 48 hours from now, she needs your signature and a husband. And if she doesn't marry by said date and time, or if father decides not to ratify this new dork, Normando? She forfeits the money. It pains me to think that Lola might not get her trust fund. Oh, please. She's doing this to herself. You're really enjoying your sister's potential demise, aren't you? You got your money when you turned 25. I didn't say anything. Thank God. Oh, I could 
sure nestle in this bosom. This is work, remember? Man, I'd like to picnic there. Okay, let's gather around for running orders. Bang out the marriage contract and order me all these things. No, 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 wake up. Lots to do. You, let's clean yourself up and get a suit from the shop. You do know what a suit is, don't you? Yeah, sure, it's like a onesie. <laughs> Let's get you in front of Mancha. The hell's a Mancha? Darling! Mancha! Darling, you have returned to my presence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody step in something? Mancha, meet Normando. He's our project for today. <laughs> you can stop laughing, it's the truth. Well, it's a little late to call in a decent plastic surgeon. But we will improvise. Mancha loves a good challenge. Oh, man. Come on, breathe. Um, um. I tried every search, even illegal ones. Am I supposed to think of everything? If Lola isn't using her own credit cards, then she's using someone else's. And what dog is always on her leash? Nina. Go. Every minute you don't produce results, you lose a vacation day. Um, you don't give vacation days. Is that some sort of a comeback? Manchita is here to do schematics. Talk to his pastels and don't hold back. Manchita, all specifications should play into what my father adores. When he meets Normando, he should instantly fall in love with his future son-in-law. What are we doing here? We're gonna lose our jobs back home. How dumb are you? Don't you realize Bo's making six figures now? What does that have to do with me? Don't you get it? I can hire you. To do what? I don't know. Assistant, maid, personal astrologer. I'll think of something. You two. Told the dispatcher I got two waitresses bloated and hung over. You're up. Normando! Yeah, <laughs> that ain't Normando. Excuse me? I know what I'm doing. Clearly you don't, because that ain't the guy. Normando is my creation. Don't you mean nerd, Mondo? Look, I need to feel comfortable in his skin, and I ain't comfortable in pink. This is the look my daddy likes. No glasses. It'll make you look smarter. No slick back hair. Normando's hair stands tall. You're right. You're right. So guess what? What? You're fired. Hey! 
Hey, sexy. Mm -hmm. How would you like to make some money? All right, all right, you win. Girl, if the press is right, I can be whoever you want. Order here. I will be back. All right, everybody. Just stop. Stop. Stop what you're doing. There's been a slight change of plans. the physical part down. Mental is next. Did you get the supplies I asked for? Perfect. Revisions will be done in two hours. Then just get him to sign. Remember, without his signature, he can walk at any minute, and we can't have that risk. Hopefully he knows how to spell his name. <laughs> you better slow down on those. How do you expect me to get all this work done with no help, no sleep, so much pressure that, I mean, you know, it's just piling up. It's just, you... Mm hmm You see what I mean? You deliberately altered the look behind my back. I know, I know, but can't you just, like, relax? Relax? You're putting the operation in jeopardy and you want me to relax? I feel like a million bucks. Like I can do anything. Don't that count for something? Huh? Your table is ready, Mr. Normando. Mm. All right. Y'all got chicken nuggets here? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, now maybe we can get to know each other. Now maybe you can get to know Normando. I had no idea Normando was such a moron. She's giving him gifts. It's not gifts, it's books. Nobody likes books. I think she really likes him. This is his job. But she is up to something. Back to work. Secret passion of my father's, throwing around a little useless knowledge of Civil War handguns will go a very long way. Gotcha. Now, which Civil War was that? Joking again. <laughs> I ordered this particular vintage because my father loved That's good. What do you say we put the homework aside? And we do what's gonna ensure this magic trick go presto, all right? Let's, uh, get to know. I don't need to know Bo. I need to know Normando. Well, why don't you start by telling me why you're doing all this? Start by understanding you don't need to know the fine print. Oh. <laughs> Traditional family can't accept the fact that you're... <laughs> Clearly, you need a copy of the Moron's Guide to Perception. Money, then? Twenty-five million. Dollars? And, I, and I'm getting paid what? <laughs> a deal's a deal. Or didn't they teach you that in law school? Law school! Wow! Clever! All right, so you need to get hitched to get the dough? All thanks to my beloved mother, who pushed and pushed and pushed me to get married my whole life. The more she pushed, the less I wanted it. And finally, despite her, I told her I was never going to get married. When she knew she was dying, she changed my trust so I would have to get married in order to get my money. And she left my father with a groom approval clause, hence why you're here, hence why I'm getting my money and getting out. Out where? Oh, I can't live a life running the family business with my sister. 
Once this trust fiasco blows over, I'm gone. You see, the money leads to my freedom, which has far more value. Gotcha. You see, now that I know what's at stake, you should know. You can count on me, because I'm a winner. From a gentleman not wearing a shirt. Found it! experience hallucinations? Oh, this is great. Well, ain't the most important factor that we look like we're head over heels. I mean, we're gonna be all like, uh, lovey-dovey and kissy-kissy, right? Mm, my family doesn't do lovey-dovey or kissy-kissy or hugs or high-fives even. I'm after the prize just like you. And we ain't gonna succeed unless folks believe I'm in love with you. And vice versa. <coughs> Ms. Lola, there's an urgent message for you in your room. I better go check on this. All right. Need to cool off? Hey, what the hell are you doing here? You said it wasn't real! It ain't real. Yeah. Ah, ah. You're flirting! I ain't flirting. Then how come you two look like you're about to screw right on the table? Because I'm doing my job. For us. And by you being here, you may cost us the whole store, and then we get nada. Now you go and let me do what I gotta do. Hey, I'm not looking for long work anymore. It said in one of them books that uh, proper etiquette was to excuse yourself when you spill on your privates. You know what I just figured out? What? We need to work on your accents. What accent? You can't speak trailer park when you're with my family. You need to be a Latino. Oh, yeah. Look, I I've seen Zorro like 14,000 times. I'll be Banderas. Mm -hmm. Check it out. <clears throat> be careful of my dangerous sword. Keep working on it. Talk to Bo. Does this mean we can go now? Hell no. Things have taken a turn for the worse. How? When Bo talked to me, he wasn't searching for words, wasn't dancing around the issue or staring at the ground when he spoke. He was nothing like the Bo I know. He still smell like feet? Yeah. More like baby feet doused in musk. That doesn't sound so bad. It's awful. Bo is hot now. He's got confidence. And you know what he's going to do with all that confidence? Leave me. And there's no way in hell I'm going to let that happen.
Time to sign your life away. Well, what if there's stuff in here I don't agree with? I'm not paying you to agree. I'm paying you to be my fake husband. All right. <clears throat> said husband is to defer to wife's decision in all matters. Now, what if said husband the ones who's right? Impossible. I'm never wrong. In all situations, events, and gatherings, said husband must allow said wife to direct all conversations, interactions, exchanges. When we're with my family, you have to follow my lead. Uh-huh. Well, I can't work like this. I'm a professional husband, not a professional wife. <laughs> I'm playing. Damn. I thought you were going to burst. Look, when you need a paycheck, who cares about the fine print? <laughs> Would do well to put an open book clause in, though. All successful marriages have one. Open book? Yeah, it means I don't hide anything from you, and you don't hide anything from me. Not hiding anything doesn't sound like very much fun, does it? But OK. To an open book marriage. Cheers. Cheers. Who is it? Who is this, my dear? More importantly, who's this? Marco, this is Normando, my new fiance. <laughs> Normando, this is Marco, my ex fiance. Ex fiance? Hey, weren't you in Call Me Bad? Gone one day, fall in love the next. I've known Normando for years. He was my college love. Lola, we will speak alone. It's over. I will not leave until we speak alone. You cheated. It was nothing. It was everything! Hi. Let's have a drink at the bar before we have sex all night, hmm? Uh, Lola, please, I'm begging you to listen. You have no right to beg for anything. Honey, she meant nothing to me. No, if she meant nothing, then how come you won't tell me who she is? She, she's just some bimbo groupie. Some bimbo groupie. Oh, you risk our whole relationship over some bimbo groupie. That's not nothing. That's pathetic. Marco called someone else three days before the wedding. You know how I found out? The Naughty Nest Hotel called to say they couldn't get the chocolate body paint stains off the rug. Thank God, right? Because then we wouldn't have fallen back in love. Oh, you're still here? Lola, we have to resolve this. The wedding is in two days. I dumped you, remember? We're getting married in two days. Two martinis make them dirty. <laughs> Lola, please, just listen to me, OK? Let's try to work it out. After all this time together, don't we deserve that? No. Come on, you can't just forget about us. What makes you so sure? Typical Latin pride get in the way. What are you afraid I'll turn you around? Lola, I have to speak with you alone. All right, Chief. Back off. This is my girl now. Chief. Girl. You grew up in a trailer park, Chico? In Panama, you know what we wipe the floor with? Faces like yours. Panama. <laughs> <clears throat> you are such losers, you couldn't build a dam without our help. What'd you say about Panama? Uh oh, we're going to the next level. <laughs> Let's talk. 
I'm dying without you, Lola. Here, please, just, just no. take this, okay? No. Yes. Just so you can think about it. About us. Let's face it, Marco. Things were fading. If marrying and get my trust fund wasn't an issue, we would have put things on hold. Sure, things were unstable, but no longer. Honey, I am committed to you. I'm sorry, Marco. You blew it. But I love you. And I love someone else. I'm not giving up. Yeah, yeah, I was just, uh, doing the job. It was good. <sighs> Dink. This bread is toast. Oh! Ooh! How's work? Ran into a little occupational hazard. We kissed. Macked, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, serious uh-oh. I was gonna buy Nikki a ring with my first paycheck, but now... Whoa. What are you saying? Dude. Dude. Do not mess around at the office. We cannot afford to lose this gig. You collect your salary, you give me my 10%, and you get on with it. Mm. What is it? Um, my views on politics are very centrist. No, you cannot wonder about these things. You have to know it instantly. I don't even know what centrist views are. In the middle! Of what? Oh. Okay, let's just stick with the simple things, okay? What's your favorite beer? Easy Budweiser. Oh. <clears throat> Dos Equis, senor. Just, just be Normando, okay? Please. Oh. Meet my love, Normando. Senor Dia, it's an honor. Normando, it's a pleasure. Isn't this place divine, Normando? Oh, most definitely. The architecture is like, wow. I'm impressed, and I don't impress easily, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. What area of architecture do you specialize in, Normando? All of it, actually. Every damn style, yes. Mm. But lately, I've been driven to, um, landscape. Your hedges are fantastic. I have them pruned exactly the same way. It takes a fine weed cutter to get that perfect shape. <laughs> oh, Dios mio. You, you, sly devil. Only the best, huh? Bermuda grass. Drought resistant. Grows on most soils. Makes a good turf. If it's mowed correctly, of course. Mm. I can't stress the mowing part enough. How come you know so much about grass? Oh, and a horticultural buff at that. Daddy, isn't he a dream? What do I have to do, shoot someone to get noticed? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, Simona. Hello, darling, mm -hmm. charmed. I'm Lola's older sister, although I look younger. Everyone says so. Huh? <laughs> they do. Mm -hmm. Ask around. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is my husband, Javier. Come, let's join our guests. Senor Dia? I'd like you to meet my older brother, Geraldo. But he's white. See. Si. Yes. 
Very white. I'm white. He was an orphan, and we took him in as a baby and raised him as if he had Latin blood. Lord dear, your castle is enchanting beyond reasonable doubt. Let us embrace at long last. Where are your parents? Oh, no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. <gasps> Mama! Mama! Daddy, Daddy, it's such a Mama. tragedy. Their parents died when their cruise ship went down six years ago. Mama! It's still a really sore spot. Oh, that's terrible. Well, who wants a drink? We do. Let's be a son. I have to say, this is all a little hard for me to swallow. I know, Daddy. And since you've never been very good on your own, I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist that you allow me to judge this matter thoroughly. I will keep an open mind in assessing if this Normando is right for this family. You should, Daddy. Normando's a really great guy. But you need to realize I know what's best for my daughter. You better get it together or we'll all be looking for work on the corner. Oh, when I heard what happened, I seriously considered having you hit by a truck. But instead, I'm gonna be your life preserver. Because no matter what happens, I will not accept this lunatic, Normando, to be my new son-in-law. But you, you need to win some of her heart back so that she doesn't hate me. You can count on me, sir. Hi, I'm Tony Robbins, and I want to welcome you here to Personal Power. 30 days to a totally... Today, you're beginning something that can truly change the quality of your life forever. Now, speaking from the table. Hey, lady, are, are you okay? Yeah, but you ain't. Uh, uh... Hey, that's my truck! That's my truck! University of Barcelona is very impressive. What did you study? Architecture. I thought that was at Princeton. It was. Architecture is something you can never stop studying. Because they're always building new stuff. <laughs> Normando, what do you say we take a little walk, huh? In private. Hombre to hombre, huh? Actually, Normando can't walk very far. He's got polio. Polo. Polo injuries. I'm not in I got to, all right? I'll fix it, trust me. What's the rush? <laughs> Let them get to know each other. So I don't remember him from your Princeton days. Oh, you have selective memory, Simona. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just saying this to be honest. I don't like him. I don't care. I mean, he just doesn't seem comfortable in his own skin. God, when you compare him to Marco. It's not even a contest. I don't want you here. God. Look. I'm not trying to be difficult, but I deserve a second chance, and I'm going to get it. Right. Ah, this is where I keep the wealth of my collections, when they're not on display or in a museum. That's quite some stash you have here, sir. Oh, an 1885 single-action Colt 38 Special. Yeah, it's a, it's a beaut, sir. It's not only a beaut, it still works. 
I wonder if I left this one loaded. Now, I won't pick it up again, but you have to do your part. <laughs> What's my part? Tell the truth. The truth. Architecture. Not my thing. But I have been to Barcelona once. Keep talking. I went there to study music. That. My passion. Instruments, I understand. It is what I want to do with my life. Now, Lola was concerned that maybe you wouldn't go for it. Lola was right. And maybe I could talk to you about that? I bet I can turn you around. Lola needs a strong man. Musicians are weak. Just let me play something for you. Will you do me that? That was here when I bought the house. I've been meaning to burn it. Burn it? Why would you burn an antique? Oh, this is the 1934 Martin Dreadnought D1814 Fretneck. Steel string. A little cosmetic damage, but we can fix her up, bring her right back. Yeah, but is she worth anything? 70 or 80 grand. What? Oh, you just turned water into wine. Well, some people do call me Jesus. <laughs> ah, Normando, you're still in the game. How you win is up to you. On the bisque! Start prepping! Mm -hmm. But they're alive! Hey. Where, where were you? What happened? Had to deviate from the plane. Are you crazy? You have to follow the contract. I must direct all interactions with my partner. Try the Chardonnay. It has a nice oak to it. Oaky, dokey. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Tell Lola the joke about Jesus. <gasps> what just happened? Exactly. You had your chance. Now I'm doing thinking. Do you realize what happens if you mess this up? Yeah. I go back to mowing lawns. I got a lot of stick here too, Lola. Just follow my lead. And you stick to your job. My job? Yeah. Being hopelessly in love with me. Hardly seems like you're acting. We're really slipping into it, aren't we? More like slipping out of it, if you know what I mean. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Just noticed how your hand brushed against his butt. Mm, that was an accident. <laughs> OK. Toast to a good investment and a great return. 
Is that like glow stick all over your face? Are you like glowing? I just reporting for duty, big bro. Whew. Who knew work could be so much fun? It ain't just fun. Romano gets a lot of respect and admiration. Something I can get used to. Interesting choice of foreplay. Go! Go! You can do it! The ocean's that way! Go! 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 Follow me! Oh, oh. Hurry! Grab them before they sunburn! Everybody loves him. What should I do? Okay, you've got to impress the crowd somehow. Get them to notice you. How? I'm sure there's something you're good at. Excuse me, everyone. In honor of this gorgeous day and this gorgeous woman, there's something I'd like to share with you all. Something very deep, deep in my soul. Give someone else a chance. This next one I call Lovely Lola. Place that thing again. It is over for you. <laughs> Who 
knew I had a fortune in that guitar. Sure sounds that way. I think I'm going to open one of my favorite champagnes to celebrate finding $80,000 in the storage room. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you're a musician? I've been trying to do music for a living my whole life. I usually get stage fright. I do. Heck, I guess Normano doesn't feel it. <laughs> Why are you mowing lawns then? Well, I used to work in a music store. Been working there ever since high school. I guess running the shop, got ahead of being a musician. Before I knew it, I'm coming up on 30. The owner passes away, the building forecloses. And sure enough, good old Bo's out of work. Cutting grass is the only gig I could get. That is, until you came to town. Well, I'm glad I did, because Normando is really talented. Don't worry, sir. We didn't use guitars in Menudo. Sir? Given that your trust fund hangs in the balance, these circumstances are quite difficult. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, I... But what's fortunate is that Normando is quite a catch. Really? Of course. He can't make a living being a musician. So we'll give him a job in operations. Congratulations on your new husband. Thank you so much. <laughs> ah! He's dying. You're going to be my husband. No. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> You ass. He ratified for Normando. Not only is it over between us, but you don't get one cent of the payoff. Oy, you and your chocolate body paint. Hey, j just calm down. I can fix it. How? If she doesn't want to marry you, then you can't leave her at the altar. And if you can't leave her at the altar, the deadline can't pass. And if the deadline can't pass, I don't get the 25 million that she doesn't deserve. Hey, we still have till sundown tomorrow. Look, I know how to pull all the strings. I'll have her remembering why we fell in love in the first place. Trust me, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> Care to cut a rug? I'd rather not. You don't want to spoil the illusion? No, we're ahead of the game. You can never be too ahead. Come on. Come on. Okay. okay. <laughs> <clears throat> this song sucks. It's what my dad likes. Yeah, well, his new son in law is gonna change the channel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, he should really play what my dad likes. Come on now, you afraid to turn up the heat? No, you don't understand. Hey, hey. 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 En una juerga, yo pide valía una negra, esa negra me valiaba, ese ritmo tropical. La otra noche en una juerga, yo pide valía una negra, esa negra me valiaba, ese ritmo tropical. We were enjoying that. Just forget it. Right. We're starting to have fun. You gotta have some fun. What do you have in mind? Oh, a little something. Come here. Don't leave me here. 
here? I got a phone there. Oh, going off campus. This feels naughty. We'll just sneak away for an hour. Besides, if you're going to be my husband, there's a few things you need to know about me. Ooh, and that feels even naughtier. Come on, where are we headed? You'll see. I did a lot of competitions. Get out of here. <laughs> Stop it, you seem shocked. <laughs> uh, you blame me? I thought you were a regular stiff. No, this was my life. You know, but my father had other things in mind. So I secretly applied to Juilliard, and I even snuck to New York for the audition. <laughs> I figured if I got in, there was no way he was going to say no. I have a feeling I know where this is going. So I pulled up to the building and got out of the cab, and standing right there was my father. He found out, and he got there first. And he told me right on those steps that I was going to study business so I could take over the family empire or I was cut off. Well, I'll tell you what. I have a sixth sense, and I bet you got in. We're alone. We certainly are. Uh, we don't have to pretend or act. Thought we stopped acting hours ago. Will you don't don't shove that guy? He's big. Will you calm down? Calm down? Calm down? You were just dry humping her on the dance floor! He may be your fiance, but he's my man! Comprende? She did not mean that. Come here. Listen. Look, I'm gonna send her away. Let me do that, then you and I can talk. All right? What's this? I, I, I have to deal with that. All right? So do you just go ahead and go home, and I'll, and I'll find my way back. I'm sorry, it got out of hand, and I, I lit it. Tell your damn straight, you let it. How could you do this? It's just business. It don't look like just business. I, I gotta keep her interested, and, you know, I, I gotta protect the situation. That guy Marco, he's still all over her, all right? And her dad, he, he signed off on me, but it ain't over till we got our, our rings on our fingers. You know that. And I, I, I just don't want to lose that money. That's all. Not the truth. Girl ain't nothing but a paycheck. <sighs> I've known you since high school. Yep. And you know what I know? What's that? When you're lying. I go. Oh! Look, things ain't been great between us for a long time. You know that. I knew I was gonna lose you when all this. You ain't losing me. Okay, do you love me or not? 
You are such a bastard! Ah! I swear, you follow me and you will eat this bottle! I am the boss of this relationship. Okay, all right, all right. Hey. Don't pay me. We gotta get straightened out here. Hmm? You're making the wrong moves. Uh, okay, hold on. The... I speak, you listen. There is a job to do here, and that's it. You're falling a little too comfortably into your role. Me? So were you. I was not. Lola, I looked into your eyes. Come here. That wasn't no act. All right? And I think you should know. Who is it? Open the door. Oh, my God. Where do I go? Oh, my God. Go, go. Come on in. <laughs> Enjoying your separate room? Yes, that's uh, how I roll. Yes. And now a nip before bed. Delicious. <laughs> Normando, I would like to have a little chat. Hombre to hombre. Now that you're becoming part of the family, I want you to understand the importance of family nuances. Nuances. Lola, she will always be the baby. And that is why I will never stop worrying about her. And that's where you come in. I come in. I want you to keep her on a short leash. Leash? Lola's flighty, whimsical. She doesn't focus. I mean, take Marco, great guy. And well, you can't blame the man who cheats. You have to blame the woman. And now I have you to keep her in line. I want to know everything that goes on in her life. In that respect, you and I are partners, right? Wrong. Sir, you have one hell of a daughter. She's smart. She's pretty. A real fighter. You talk about focus. She's got more focus than a Nikon. <laughs> hey, don't worry about her. Just be proud of her. You're out. Get your stuff and get off my land. What did you do? I'm sorry, I thought... You thought wrong. I didn't like him treating you that way. No, he always treats me that way. I'll apologize, hands and knees. Bo, you're fired. Pull yourself together, you're back in. And I want my 90,000 for breaking my guitar. You were gonna marry him three days ago. <laughs> so he cheated. <laughs> Maybe you can reconnect with what you had. I don't know. Look, marry him, get the money. Then maybe, you know, you can work it out. You can work it no, out. No, 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 you know, you know my father. He won't let me divorce. He won't let me get out of here. We'll be in this house all the time. For once, let's not pretend that this hasn't been about money. You 
miss those caffeine pills, don't you? What do you want? Let me be your jolt. <laughs> it's just business. <sighs> Sweetie, Marco here is going crazy without you. He came to me and he professed his deep, deep love. And I must say, I was moved. Please, just listen to him. Lola, it's been real hard for me these last couple days. But you know what got me through it? Costa Rica. We'd only been dating in about a month. <sighs> Do you remember that last night? Dancing, that little club on the beach. It was like 100 degrees. <laughs> we didn't stop until dawn. <laughs> that was one of the best nights of my life. We can get back there. Honey, I promise you, I will not let you down again. the altar, you'll just run in and declare it's a fake. Oh, it's gonna be like a bomb exploding. Oh, oh, and if you're feeling it, you could even say you're pregnant with his baby. You know, if you're feeling it. We need to talk. Oh, get lost, I found your replacement. I'm back in. Normando is out, Lola said yes. Nothing. Now I just gotta get rid of the trash in the other room. Um. Wow. Happened to you. Wow. Later. What's up with Lola? It's over. She's she's back with Marco. Nikki, tell me. It's a setup. Marco's having an affair with Simona. He's been planning all along to leave her at the altar. Simona has some plan to get Lola's money. Well, I got a warner. Why do that? Lock them in the panic room. So they can't voice their opinions about certain people until the deadline passes. You've been doing that all night. They obviously cut the line. You want to get out of here or not? What's the point? We got nothing to go back to. You know, this whole thing made me realize that. I ain't been chasing my dreams all these years. I've been hiding from them. 
watching you have this adventure with this girl, all these new people. I've seen you change. Fact is, you've been needing somebody to push you to be your best. Guess I wasn't the one. Long time coming, huh? Just remember the money. You better be glad to see me. Did the wedding start yet? I heard them playing that music, if that's what you mean. You gonna be all right? Yeah, go. All right. Hey. What are you doing here? The whole thing's a setup, Lola. What are you talking about? Simona, she's the one who's been cheating with Marco. You're lying. She's gonna sabotage the wedding. She's got some scheme to take your trust money. Marco, he's gonna walk. No, I don't believe you. Lola. Oh, hey. Ven, ábreme la puerta. If we tell your father what's going on, maybe he'll let you marry me. We got time, Lola. You ain't gonna get a cent unless we do something. You gotta believe me. Well, I don't. Hey, hey, hey. Unbook marriage, remember? I'm telling you the truth, I swear. Get him off the property. Well, what are you doing? Getting you out of my life. It's time. This is also funny, don't you think? Lola, <laughs> are you okay? Here, hold this. Yes, I'm okay. I'm great. And actually, you can go now. I mean, that's what you were gonna do. Am I right, Chico? Huh? Oh, no. No, no, no. You're not gonna dance your way out of this one, hmm? <laughs> oh, is that my bitch of a sister? Ah, uh, the devil still wears a tummy tucker. I don't always wear a tummy tucker. What happened to us, Simona? Hmm? Do you remember when we were little? We used to share toys. But then we got money. Lola, please, come on. For a while, you know what we did? We still shared our toys. No, the truth is, you stopped being my sister long ago. But today, you became my enemy. Lola, come on. No. No. Dad. Mom just wanted me to get married because she thought it would make me happy. But you made her put in the approval clause because you wanted to control me. No wonder I was crazy enough to hire a husband. Yes. Yes, I admit it. I hired Normando. And like any good employee, Bo taught me how to run a better shop, to run a better me. 
So yes, I did all of this for the money. But now I realize that it was money that tore this family apart long ago. So you know what? You can keep your money. I'm over it. Are you just gonna let her go? I want your resignation on my desk Monday morning. My resignation? Why? Because board members lose their seat when they're being investigated for embezzlement. Shortly. Hey, you refill? Yeah. How you doing there? Okay. Go. Thanks. What's your poison? Where to begin? <laughs> How'd you find me? Bread. Yeah, uh... Look, you don't have to search for words. That's my job. Is it? And one of the words that comes to mind is apology. You did more for me than I realized. But I realize now. Really? I was trapped in something for a long time. And I may have given you a chance, but you set me free. Thank you. Yeah, you you're welcome. I get back to work. Good seeing you. Get me the geek. Saying anything gets you the geek. What did you have in mind? Is anywhere 